Hey kids, welcome to lesson 13, introduction to arrays. Number seven, reassigning array values. We've already seen many examples how the location in array can be treated identically to a variable. The last exercise we'll perform to prove this point is reassigning array values. The syntax for reassigning values stored in array is identical to that used when reassigning variables. Even the plus plus notation to increase a value by one works. Hmm. So we can use some knowledge we already learned and apply it to arrays. The programming you're about to see creates an empty array and adds three random values to it. You'll be adding code to the program that increases each value by one. And I remember from previous lessons that that plus plus just adds one. We have it do this, add code to the program that increases the value stored at each location in the array by one. Use console.log to confirm that you have correctly increased the values. Below is sample output from one run of the program. Looks like we have original numbers and final numbers. And the final numbers all are just one above the original. Pretty fun. Let's go take a look at our code. We have our string my numbers. It is currently empty. We are adding three items to my numbers. It's a random number between one and 10. We have a console.log statement. It says original numbers and it's gonna print out the numbers. Add code here and then we have a, another console.log that has the final numbers and my numbers called again. Hmm. Well, looking at it in the example, I think all I need to do is just call my numbers the spot index that I want. And remember, indexes go from 0 to 9. And we just want to add one to that index. Well, when I think about it, what do I want to do? How do I want to write that out? Well, I want to access the my numbers array. Which part of the array? I have three random numbers being generated. The first spot will be zero, second spot will be one, and the third spot will be two. That means I want to access zero, and all I want to do is just add one to that. So my numbers, which part of the index do I want to access? The second number, and then I just want to add plus one to that. And then finally, our last spot, which will be number two, we want to add one, and don't forget your semicolon at the end. Now when it calls my numbers, it's going to call these new stored values and it'll display the new numbers, which should just be one added to the original. Let's go ahead and see if our idea works. Original numbers, 7, 10, 2. Final numbers, 8, 11, 3. That's one each to those. Let's try one more time. 2, 7, 1, 3, 8, 2. Looks like our code is working very well. Looking back up here, we did add to our program that increases the value stored by one and we printed it off. And we displayed that in our debug console. I think that's all code.org wants from us. Let's see if they want anything else. No. Good job, kids. I'll see you on the next lesson.